comes in many different shapes and sizes, but we're all unique. Yo, my people comes in many different shapes and colors, but we're all one equal. My people, I can't call it. My soldiers is falling. I think uh, love is precious and rare. Uh, it's going to run you broke if you love too long because... Uh, she gonna want some money, and that ain't just your girl or your wife. That's your mama be begging when you're in love with her, so you have to break up with her, probably. They say the greatest thing is to love and be loved in return. Love is uh, a one night stand, and uh, the girl gets dressed uh, faster than you. Love is caring, sharing. It's a partnership when it's two people involved. When one is weak, the other is strong, holding that one up and vice versa. Love will sneak up on you from the back and walk up beside you when you're not looking. I think love is some bullshit, and I want all my pussy back. What are we talking about? Southern California. Now, if you don't know me, you should. You see, I'm the host with the most specializing in love music. Now, this week we have a very special and beautiful Miss Monifa Burley. She's the best selling author of My Curly Afro. Mm -hmm. I've got the feeling it's about to get hot in here. I'm not talking hot on the thermometer, I'm talking hot like that foxy chick that was on the cover of that Ohio Players album. Remember it? With nothing but just honey dripping off of her. Mm. <laughs> is it hot in here? Is that just me, Daddy? <laughs> Give us a call if you have a love quarrel, or if you just want to talk about something and you want some advice. Phone lines are open. Here we go. That's 310-555-L-O-V-E. And you call us if you had a quarrel, if you want to talk about some advice, or if you just want to say hi. Damn! I am so tired of you. You tired? Man, you need to learn that you cannot keep having your cake and eating it too. And you damn sure can't keep fucking me and still trying to eat cake too. I know you're a little upset, so I'm gonna let this dumbass little comment go. Oh, shit. Guys, guys, come on, guys. We have company. Be good. Wow. Monifa. Troy. Sarah. Call her. What's your name? I'm Maya. We have uh, Maya on line one. Hello, you're talking WKN Love Radio with um, the Mrs. Monifa Burley. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. With the lovely Miss Burley. First of all, I want to say, Miss Burley, I love your book. I can't put it down. Thank you. I just called because I wanted to tell you my story. Well, we'd love to hear it. Do you believe in destiny? No. I do. I do too, Maya. There's a map for everyone's life. Hold on, Maya, where exactly are you going with this? Well, I met this guy, and he seems to be perfect. Wait, how long have you known this guy? Not long. 90 days? Not quite. <laughs> well, you must be desperate for love. If you, you've barely known this man for three months, and you think he's perfect. First of all, Troy, you don't even know me. 
Listen for a minute. Let me tell you my story. Go ahead. It was my birthday weekend, and I really missed my ex. Even though he wasn't a part of my life anymore, I felt like he was ruining my day. An ex is an ex for a reason. How long has it been since you've been with somebody else, Maya? Mm, about, about a year. Damn, you sure it still works? <laughs> I was um, really doing my best to not think about Walter. That's my ex. And my friends were doing the best they could to try and help me have a happy birthday. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. On the Soul Train, little baby girl, she's breaking down. Everything is hunching now. Just hunching. Uh, oh, she didn't want to be Now, that's that. just nasty. Just hunching. You know they... Oh, oh! Monet, <laughs> you are... Come on, open your last gift. Mm. Do. Go ahead. Tamia, what did you do? Go ahead. Oh, Miss oh. Burley? This is her latest book. Oh, Tamia, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, baby. I know you love her. She's going to be on the radio. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God, are you serious? Yes. Y'all act like she's some kind of god or something. Girl, I mean, she's, she's good. You know what? I knew we should have got a stripper. Uh, that's not where I'm at right now. I'm looking for love, true love, soulmate love. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for true love, too. And I'm going to get some in about two hours. I'm <laughs> not talking about sex. I'm talking about love. I had my reservations about the hooker upper. I hooked up everything. I got KK. He waiting on us. He's white. Ain't nothing wrong with a white man. Ain't nothing wrong with a white man. They got a little change. Woo! <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's roll. KK waiting. We got to freshen up our lips. Let's yes. Yes. Good yes. afternoon, Miss Parker. Uh, Ladies, <laughs> have a safe and pleasant day. Well, what happened to Ralph? Oh, he retired uh, last week. That's Marcus. Oh, Seems really nice. He got a tight oh, ass, girl. Oh. It's considerate. Yeah. Is he gay? Now look, just because you love your thugs does not mean all nice, considerate men are gay. Well, what about him? Him? Building security? Oh, you you out your mind. <laughs> you know you right. No insurance plan. <laughs> what if you wanted to have kids? Right, girl, she needs a nigga with some money, honey. A baller, shot caller. That's right. I didn't say that either. Oh, all right, money does have its perks. You know that's right. <laughs> oh, you know what? Y'all are going to be so mad at me. I left my purse upstairs. Oh, hurry up! I'll meet you with the car. Come cool. on, we gotta get this party started. Happy birthday, Miss Cartwright. How did you know it was my birthday? Well, let's see. The flowers, the cake, and the gifts. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's Maya. That ain't true. How you know? Tamia, don't start with your little bougie shit, okay? I don't discriminate, I don't know about you. What does he look like? He is fine. I met him at traffic court. He had on a nice little suit, girl, real business like. Mm. Armani? Armani, Gucci, Rucci, somebody. So, um, exactly how old is Kay? Don't worry, he is over 21. Well, Trust. He's too old to be living in this trailer park. <laughs> What's up, lady? How you doing? Scooch over, girl. Give me some room. You like a drink? No, thank you. More for me? <sighs> so, um, what does the K stand for? Can't tell. Everything's cool. What is that awful smell? Oh shit! You smell that, yo? <laughs> Your Taco Bell had that sale, dollar nine nine for three tacos and a Mountain Dew. I had to get that shit. It goes away after about 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> don't hate because you can't do it. Don't hate. Kermit, it's K Dog. Don't be embarrassed in front of my peeps and shit. My name ain't Kermit. You don't see no muppet in this car. In case. You have a spell. Good looking out, Dad. Yep. 
So you um you stay with your father? Yeah, you know, I'm a I'm a baller by nature and the judge is playing hating this shit. It's one of the provisions of my probation. You never said anything about jail or probation. Um, well, I mean, don't be putting this on me. You never asked either. What, what, what were you in jail for? Well, for this, for this last time, it was for killing chickens. Killing chickens? Yeah, you know, it's a sexual thing. I don't like to talk about it too much. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna hook you up a little later if you good, shit. What you, I'll hook you up too, driver. I can handle all three of you, sisters. Don't be sleeping on the white horse. It's K-Dog, baby. Well, after all that farting and carrying on, Decided to go upstairs and chill until later. Hey. Hey, you look nice. Thank you. Hot day? I wish. But listen, you want to go to lunch? Um, I'm going to have to take a rain check. OK. That's the fourth rain check, but uh, all right. Who's counting, really? OK. I'll talk to you later. I thought this guy was really considerate. But he's a security guard. He gets paid to be considerate. Wow, so, listen, Maya, this is the situation. Women like money. And if a brother looks like he doesn't make enough money, his chances decreases. You know how hard it is for a black guy who works at McDonald's to get a date with a girl in L.A. Does a white guy working at McDonald's have easier time? Same problem. Same. No man working at McDonald's can afford a date. I so don't know. what's the difference? I, I don't know. I have to disagree with both of you. I mean, if you're saying that a woman's only motivation for a relationship is money, then you're sitting here basically calling all women whores. Wait a minute. Now, whore is a strong word. Oh, what exactly are you saying? Let's call a spade a spade. What I'm saying is that most women, I think biologically, naturally, genetically, would choose, would sacrifice happiness for luxury. Now, what she's talking about is a man that, because he was a security guard, yeah. she wouldn't date him or didn't like him or wouldn't give him enough time. Can I finish my story, please? Well, whatever. Let's, let's, go. let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. On my way back up to get my purse, I found this little notebook. While laying down on the couch and sipping some tea, I couldn't help myself. I had to read that notebook. If I have the gift of prophecy and can phantom all mystery and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains and have not loved, I am nothing. If I can give all possesses to the poor, and surrender my body to the flames and have not loved, I gain nothing. Love is patient, kind, is not proud, not rude. It does not boast, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, trusts, and hopes. And always perseveres. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's beautiful. Who wrote that? It's Corinthians. Corinthians. I don't think I've ever heard of him. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Oh, 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 that Corinthians. I knew that. Listen, Maya, the, the scripture that you're actually quoting is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. And there, the Apostle Paul was admonishing the Corinthian congregation that they needed to show love to each other, but the love he was talking about was the agape form of love or principal love, the type of love that God has for people. We should show that. But you, in our life and what we do, do you realize how hard it is just for two people to be able to coexist together? Maya, don't listen to this fool. His idea of a good date, from what I've been told, of course, is... Chicken McNuggets and the Laker game. I don't know, Maya. I, I, I have to say, I'm impressed. Thank you. I was determined to find this man that wrote this notebook. Marcus. Miss Conroy, hey, how you doing? Uh, first, 
Please, uh, I'm fine, and, and please stop calling me Miss Cartwright. All right, okay, I will stop calling you Miss Cartwright. Um, also, I was wondering, did anybody report a, um, a lost notebook? No, not to me. Oh, let me help you with that. Now, if someone does, I'll be sure to let you know. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now found. Just a minute. Are y'all ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Come on. You gotta read it. You gotta read it. Oh, I forgot my jacket. Hold on, y'all. So tell me, now, um, who wrote that stuff in that book? I don't know who wrote it. I found it outside the elevator on the floor. But you know what Monique was saying? You can't find love, it'll find you. <laughs> That's why you haven't had sex in a year. <laughs> <laughs> Watch when you're driving. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, stop stop complaining. Do we really fight. have to stand in line? Yes, we have to stand in line. What is wrong with you? <sighs> Are you OK? I just don't like standing in line. I mean, that's not fair for us. Do you have a VIP pass? I mean, do you really know Make somebody right at the door? To me. OK, <laughs> Why did we bring her? Because she's our best friend. And I have the car, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got the car, bitch. One more thing. <laughs> Somebody broke up with you? Yeah. Fine as you know. You come here a lot? I come here often. You know, a couple times every two or three weeks, you know. Mm -hmm. I like the music. I'll get y'all in and hang out a little later. Mm -hmm. We'll listen to the song. No, look, look at you. You hooked her up with the wrong nigga again. You need to stop hooking. Maya, that's a nice name. You know, you look familiar. Have you ever gone to 8th Avenue AME? No. You sure? I swear I've seen you somewhere before. You know she only been in church, what, Christmas? Thanksgiving. That happens in church. But you ain't been in church since Christmas. So you're a reader? <laughs> yeah, I read, you know. Wow. You know what? I'm really enjoying this conversation. Okay. Like that chocolate man she got. Oh, she gonna get some. He gonna, oh, he gonna hit it like he an African. <laughs> I know he gonna just throw spears. You gonna hear drums. Ooh, it's big black mandingo. Ooh, that girl gonna lose all her hair. <laughs> well, I want you to know you're in good hands. I'm a jump. Let me get my sweater, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, girl. Ladies. Yeah. I'm gonna have to catch y'all later. Why? <laughs> I'm leaving, gonna continue my conversation back at my apartment. Mm-mm. With who? Mr. Thomas over there. Uh-uh. Yes, 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 yes. Stop. <laughs> you gonna touch it? What? Oh, no. Love, not late. Love, love. Was awfully late for love. Look, I'm trying to figure out if this Negro has strings attached to him. Until in the morning, it's all good. Somebody 
true hmm. that, true that. Mm -hmm. My daddy said, though, two in the morning ain't nothing open but your legs. Oh! These legs are gonna be closed. Chastity belt is locked. Stop it. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me make sure y'all have my key. No, I'm <laughs> well, have fun, girl. Yeah, I have will. Fun. Thank you for a wonderful birthday. You're welcome, you sweetie. Fun. You deserve yeah. it. Thank oh. you. Mm. <laughs> All right, now, um, oh. y'all have fun. Maya, don't you think that could be a bit dangerous? I mean, just meeting a man in a club and taking him home? It sounds a bit hoish to me. He was obviously drinking. No, Troy, I wasn't. I was feeling this, brother, and I just wanted to finish the conversation. Okay, okay, let's keep this real. Now, the only reason a woman takes somebody home at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's because it's a booty call. That's not true. Oh, please. Oh, come on, it's completely possible to talk at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, about some booty. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you piss me off. So you got a nice place here. Thank you. You know what? I, I really like your style. Thank you. I like your conversation. Thank you. That's why I invited you back here, because I figured that we could, you know, continue talking in a comfortable environment. Well, it's definitely comfortable here, and you're definitely gorgeous, too. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I also wanted to figure out if you had somebody to report to, because it's about 2 in the morning. Oh, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. You straight? I'm straight. Wait, let me... Yeah, I'm straight. Okay. I'm straight. You know what? I'm going to go and change into something a little more comfortable, OK? Oh, that's cool. OK. Just give me a second. Excuse me. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, Burma. This is not what it looks like. I swear to God. This girl goes, wait a minute. I smell sex up in here. Oh, damn. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, Burma, I swear Jesus, to God. Jesus. I swear to God, Burma, she goes to our church. I do not go to Jesus. your church. Oh, oh, a and church home. Oh, you got a church home. Oh. Oh. It's hot in here, and I took my clothes off. That's you're the only lying. You who is he? Oh, is this she? is my wife, Burma. You didn't say you were married? I did tell you I was married. Burma, I swear to God, I told her I was married. Stand no lot. Look, both of y'all, get out of my home. Oh, Take your on. drama come of out of my house. I swear get, to God. Come on. Oh, get out. Come on. Come on out. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Can't you get a man on your own, girl? Come on, Thomas. Lady, come you on. do not have a quarrel with me. I did I not know. What's that? Are you all right? I just wanted a happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> 
If that's what love does to people, I don't know. No, love doesn't do that. Mm -mm. But listen, you know that notebook? It belongs to me. Ah, uh, I asked you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You know, you asked me, did anybody ask about it? And I said no. Play on words. Tonight? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, tonight was my last night. Your last night? Mm hmm. I passed the bar, and uh, come Monday morning, I started working for the firm of Chase and White. A lawyer? Mm hmm. Didn't I tell you that? No. Yeah. Wait a minute, I thought you said you took your job serious. Did too much take my job serious. That's how I pay for law school. A man with a plan. <laughs> Is there any other one? It's the best kind. A man with a plan. Yeah. I mean, he just became one. But it's official. He's a legal practitioner. I couldn't believe it myself. I had to call my girls and we had to have a meeting. A lawyer? We <laughs> missed that one, girl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. OK, girl, look here. I got to go look at my doorman, too. I'm talking about the cutie at the gas station look cute. I got to holler at McDonald's. You see, you can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, my goodness, you said that. He was wonderful. Mm. Oh! Bitch! <laughs> to the doormen of the world. To good men. My brothers. Mm. Mm. I love you. Mm. Mm. How about a toaster? Oh. Penises. Ooh. <laughs> One more time. One more time. I like the way it sounds with the click. Here we go. Together. Penises. Penises. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my story. You're welcome. You're talking about love. Yeah, you talking about love on the radio, man. I'm gonna call him, dog. Wait, he right. Wow. Hold still. Just wait, wait, wait. Just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 good. Do you like it? <laughs> You're crazy. No, I normally don't like. What it he, he he had. Something on his face and his eye, what? Hmm. Is that right? Here are the papers you asked for, Mike. Thank you. Be careful what you say to Sarah today. She's hell on wheels. <sighs> Why? The word is T-Roy got caught with Sherry the intern. Again. When I when they change ownership, I'm gonna need a raise and a promotion. Change ownership? I heard we're going all talk radio. I'll tell you about it later. We're going back on. We got Corinne on uh, line two. Are you on the air with T-Roy? What's up, T-Roy? What's up, boy? Hey, hey, man, forget all that love thing, dog. Me and my man over here, we broke down, but we players. You hear me? Yeah. Players! Pimp, tell them, dog. Players! <laughs> Put on something for the pimp. Put on bitch better have my money, you know what I'm saying? You gonna play that? Thank you for your call. Hello? He hung up, dog. Acting a fool, man. Sorry, T. You gonna get fired, too. You have player on the line? Right, player, you on the air with T-Roy? Yo, dog. Oh, my God. Thank God I got through. Look, man, you ain't gonna believe what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> After the stuff I done heard today, man, I think I believe just about anything. Nah, trust me, man. You, you ain't gonna believe this. 
All right, well, give me a try, player. What's, what's your problem? Look, man, I don't really know how to say this. Let's start with what, what line of work you into. All right, look, man, let's just say I work in the line of police work, all right? Get down on the ground now! All right, ladies, there's no need to worry. And as you all know, I am the law. And it is my job, as you know, as the law, to protect. Yes, sir. Tonight, man, we was getting out dance song. I think I got a piece of confetti in my ass, but it was we. It was on we. we. Nigga, please, I clocked about a G tonight. I can't say the same for you. Well, you right. We need to go to a club though. I need to get some new booty. My girlfriend tripping. I bet you when we go down to the Temple Bar, I get with the finest woman in the club. Get with, get with. What's get with? You ain't gotta get with. You gotta hit. <laughs> Nigga, mm -hmm. I always hit. You right, you right, you yeah. do hit, okay. All right, Mr. Cock Diesel. Okay, you ain't only got a hit, but you know how you be falling in love all the time? This time you got a hit and never talk to her again. You got a hit and bounce. You got a hit and, and nobody in her family can know you exist. You, you gotta be the damn matrix. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I'll tell you what, a C note. I'll wipe my ass with a hundred dollars. Better G. <laughs> Nigga, please. You might as well pay me now. Let's roll. All right, but you don't be telling me let's roll like I'm you, Batman, I'm Robin. You don't let these hoes. I don't even get know why you saying like that. You're not going to win the bag. Oh. Look, just pay me, man, and not in food stamps either. Yeah, right? I'm going to pay you, all right? I want my money, dog. I'm going to pay your respects to your game, Dan. Yeah, all right, whatever. Lola. Lola, baby, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. I'm going to shake his hand first, Lola. Oh, don't hate. Don't hate. Oh, we oh, had man. something. Oh, we had something. Get a brother Strong Allen back there. Oh, Dog, I'm telling you, you better take a close look around because you ain't gonna get that girl up there. Where Superman. your girls, Superman? Where are your girls? I don't know where my girls at, but I definitely know where yours at. What? Here come Jesse. Yeah, oh, just shit, man. Oh, look. Nervous than a motherfucker. You just definitely damn right, man. I'm gonna get her back. I'm telling you, and only this time, I ain't gonna make the same mistakes. I'm gonna get married, we're gonna settle down, we're gonna go to the suburbs, we're gonna have a nice, calm, quiet family. You have a normal family. A stripper yeah. as a dad. And she ain't getting back with you, not the way you dogged her. Uh, 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 Let me tell you something, man. I went over there the other day. Mm -hmm. Yo, she couldn't keep her hands off me, man. Oh, yeah, it was nice. We was getting busy, here. man. We had the Osley brothers on. She gave her brother head. Do you lie for a living? Cocoa cream, the massage, man. And that's when she started tripping. She was like, yo, don't leave, don't leave. We was fucking after that. Is that the same, Jess? Yeah, that's all right. That's that anime type love. Yeah. I know. I wanted you to keep it real, but if I found out you were cheating, I couldn't explain how I feel. Thank you. 
Well, I got them all warmed up for you. Thanks, girl. Great show. Mm. <clears throat> hey, listen, I just got to tell you, your performance was, was incredible. I mean, it was off the hook. It was fresh. It was innovative. It... Listen, I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds when I say this, but uh, you're definitely the perfect example of a strong black woman. Hey, Toussaint La Overture. Yeah, this is a pretty cool book. Yeah. He was a uh, leader in Haiti, right? Yeah. yeah. You know about your song? Oh, yeah. I was a black history major at UCLA. I did my thesis paper on the Haitian Revolution. Brains, too. You know, um, I have some of his rare books at my house. Want to come over for a while? Let's do the damn thing. Great. Hey, girl, don't be trying to that freaky stuff, either. <laughs> I mean, we went to a crib and we, I mean, it was on. Stranded at some freak's house. You may come pick him up. <laughs> yeah. Where, Where you bad from it? You know, this is a bad way to start a relationship. You just gonna fuck me and leave? No. Yeah. No. Um. What, 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 what you mean when you say relationship? You think I just sleep with anyone I meet? You said you love me. Shit, oh, girl, you you was the finest girl in the club. Besides, I want to bet. Bet? I had sex with you and you telling me it was a bet? It was good odds. Do you know who I am? Get the fuck out of my house. You wait next time? Now! <laughs> now! Crazy right, bitch. She, I'm a grown ass man. She's gonna scare me. <sighs> Yo, man, I'm telling you, the girl is tripping. Yeah! Talk about she loved me. Yeah. I mean, the sex was good, but it was only three minutes. Three hard, hard minutes. I mean, I was breathing. I had the whole asthma thing and everything. But it's when the drama started. I mean, I thought everything was cool till I woke up. <laughs> oh. What's wrong, baby? I, my, my, my feeling came out my tube and it hurt like a motherfucker. Oh, shit! You need me to take you to the dentist or something? Oh, oh yeah! 
Listen, I got an emergency. Um, uh, my uh, my, my dick. I, I mean, my penis. It, it it fell off. Yes, I have an emergency. I was I was taking a piss. I mean, urinating, and 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 uh, it, it fell off. It just it fell in the toilet. No, I'm not bleeding. I, I mean, no. It, it's there's no pain, no pain, no blood. It's just it's just off. Okay, I got it in a bag with ice. It, it just sent me an ambulance. God damn. Yeah, my, my male ego is crushed. Would you send over an ambulance? I don't give a fuck if it's George Clooney out this motherfucker. Send me an ambulance. Jesus. Hello? Hello? Fuck! There's a bedpan spill in number three. Then I think you need to call bedpan management or something. Hey, listen, man, I, I got an emergency. I need to see a doctor. Okay, we'll fill out this form and one of these and one of these. Hey, and one of these. For me. I think you need a receptionist. Hey, 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 hey! To hell with Doctor Johnson! I need a doctor now. Well, you know, first you need to fill out the forms, and I. Hey, I ain't filling out nothing. Look, look, man, my dick is in the bag, and I need to see a doctor. Ooh, you need to put some duct tape on it or something till you get a doctor. Make sure you fill out one of those and one of those. I don't have time for that. Give me a goddamn doctor before I sue your HMO ass. You ain't hollering at me screaming up in there. I go get you a damn doctor, you motherfucking son. That's why your dick fell off. Somebody gotta get that motherfucker out. Yeah, hollering to you, son of a bitch. Go find your doctor. Holler ain't got no motherfucking insurance. No way, you son of a bitch. I'm so sick of working this motherfucking way in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I'm not lying. I'm telling you, man. She made my shit come off. I mean, she put it back on, but uh, she put a root on me, dog. I'm telling you, I think she's been reading too many Terry McMillan books. Was it Waiting to Exhale? How Stella brought some dick back? All that shit. You left in such a rush last night that you forgot your wallet. You need to change your address on your ID. So. What happened to you that I won't believe? Did you win the bet? That ain't the time, man. I needed to teach you a lesson. Teach me a lesson? Girl, I ain't know nothing about no roots prior to that. I thought that was an Alex Haley movie. This shit ain't funny. I ain't got nothing. Oh, now, now. Be nice. Yo, fuck that. Put that shit back on. Why the fuck should I? You dog. Let's just calm down, all right? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. Please put my bag back on. I can't, I can't work without chocolate time thunder. We, we strip together. Otherwise, I'd just be stripping on the side. It'd be lame. Please. I'm sorry. You promise? You promise to be not such a dog? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go get it. I'm about to get my dick back. Wow! Gonna reunite. Ha. Kiss me two times. Wow! Hey. <laughs> you put it in a bag of ice. I served best when chilled. Woo! Okay. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of small now. No, smaller. Smaller. Picture Gary Coleman coming out of pool. I think you have some deep-rooted problems that stem from your early childhood. What? Vaginal envy. <laughs> what? What? Vaginal envy? That's what you have. It's really quite common. It's, it's the innate jealousy of the privileges that women receive in society. Exactly. That's what he got. Vaginal envy. Hold up a second. Vaginal envy. <laughs> you was right, man. That was a crazy story. Hey, my dick fell off. You're a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> but like Tupac said, uh, keep your head up. <laughs> no pun intended. 
much time we got? Uh, 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 hey, Valentine Night Fever. Man, put the box over here, clown. Yeah, that's mine. Man, you got, you got a mental problem, I swear to God. Man, you know what? For real. Man, T-Roll, her jamming, man. You up here, man? Tripping, dog. Yeah. Sit down, man. You too big to be dancing like that. That ain't you. All right? Unfortunately, I work with my little problem. Hmm. Uh, Sarah, I think your tone is completely unprofessional. Right what? Now. I'm being unprofessional? Sarah, I write about this very thing in Chapter 5, really. I do. It's right here. When you're feeling this way, all you have to do is just <sighs> take a deep breath. What you need to do is back the fuck up off my man and stay out my business. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I ain't your man. Yeah, I, I, forgive yes. me. I, I didn't know he was your man, and I, I didn't think that I was on your man, and I was, I'm here as a guest of the show, so, um, I, I don't know, you, you, you speak of ownership, Sarah, and I just have to inform you, we own no one and no one owns us. Um, yo, uh, Mike, ain't it, ain't it time to go to the weather? Weather. Absolutely, it is time for the weather right Don't now. I think, I think it should be time Come to go to the weather because me. I'm feeling hostility in here, and I have to admit, it's draining me. Yeah, well, it's draining it really okay. is. I got a news flash for your ass. You got to go. You want the weather? There's the tone. There's the weather. You got to go. Well, um, it's been interesting. Interesting, yeah, being on the show. Thank you. I'll come again. <sighs> you need to do is learn how to listen. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Troy? Don't respond, just listen. What does that mean? It means just what I said. I ain't never said that I loved you, did I? Did I say you was my woman? You were such an asshole. I'm an asshole because I tell the truth. You know, I told you, I never said we was going to be together. I ain't never said that I wasn't going to see other people. What I said is that I cared about you. You care about me. Mm. I care about you. Nigga, I care about my dog, but I'm not letting it fuck me every night. Mm. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck all these bitches. Fuck all of this. Mm -hmm. You need to calm down right now. I... You're a little loud. Calm your ass down. I cannot believe that I have invested a year of my life in this bullshit-ass relationship. See, there you go again. Relationship. When did I say that 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 we were in a relationship? I told you at the beginning I wasn't ready for no damn relationship, and you said you was cool with that. Okay, then what the fuck did you think we was doing? Every night you was at my house, what did you think I was to you, Troy? You were a good friend. A friend? I was married! Yeah, and you said you were gonna leave her. You said you were leaving her, you said you were fucking gonna be with me, damn Man, it! You was no, 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 wait, no! no. Guys! Whoa, whoa, no, guys, no, no, no. Fuck you! I would have said anything. Fucking dumbass station. When do we come back from break? Hi, this is Deneen. Is Troy available? You have Deneen on line two. Hey, what's happening, Deneen? What's up, T-Roy? So how's the album coming, girl? Good, good. I'm in the studio right now. We're just taking a break. My first single's about to drop any day now. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Um, look, I was just listening to the other stories, and um, I thought I might share mine. All right, that sounds like a plan. Just tell me what's going down. My story's about your boy, Gavin. Hey, quit, hey, quit playing. This is what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to ask you some questions, and you have the option of answering truthfully, or you're going to get this knife. Your neck. Get the fuck off me. Question one. Are you cheating on me? No, oh, baby, I love you. I would never cheat on you. I mean, what do you mean by cheating? You taste like that bitch. No, no, look. Ah! Ah! Wake up! <laughs> With y'all, man. Hey, you see how we hopped up like a little bitch? Ooh! Thought that was curtains for your ass. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny, real funny. But you lucky Gab dog didn't go for the heat. Yo, oh, heat? Geez. That ain't no heat. <gasps> Old ass good. Hey, you run around like you're doing dueling. <laughs> like you, John Wayne. Get out of the hood, Pilgrim. Stupid. Okay, that's cute. But uh, why are you late? You know I only got the studio book for four hours. Hey, for reals, though, Black came up with this beat last night that was two. <laughs> hey, hey, baby, we was feeling like Snoop. Bam, well, yeah, yeah, what's cracking, baby? This big Snoop dog. It's all good. Sticky, icky, icky. Ooh, wee. For sure. Hey, for real, though, like, we laid it down, man. We was like, fuck it. Well, that beat is a definite headbang. It was like, fuck it. Straight head. Listen, listen, son, that's all I'm going to say is you got to hear it. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let your manager determine what's going to be a hit and what's not, all right? Now, uh, why don't you tell me another track that was hot? Surprised you, you know. Right, right, right. Where y'all get this beat from? From Josh, baby. Josh, hey, he gave us the hookup. Josh sampler. Oh, Josh laced you. That was nice, huh? Mm. That's cool. Okay, well, let's go here. You out there. Okay. Yeah. Well, you you ain't gonna never get signed. See, I'm out here trying to make it. This isn't about your job, Gavin. It's about you not respecting me. Hell, not respecting us. See, you're never gonna get signed by the way you're acting. Huh? See, that's your problem. You don't understand how much work this game really is. Excuse me? I don't know how much work this really takes. When all I've done for the last four years is work? To know that as my man and my manager, that you don't think that I'm going to be signed. Gavin. Gavin. Gavin, do you hear me talking to you? Who are you talking to? Huh? Nobody. Yeah. OK. What? Look, all I'm saying. Yeah, well, I got to go. Yeah, that's my mom on the other line. All right, yeah, bye. Mm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Well, I guess nobody's here to sign for this $10 million publisher's clearinghouse, guys. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hold on, stupid. That's no way to talk to a $10 million man. Come on, here. Yeah, if it weren't for Kenny, that's my neighbor, I don't know what I would have done. He tried to talk some sense in me. Well, have you ever heard the saying that sometimes we sabotage ourselves so that we can help ourselves? You get where I'm coming from? Gavin. What's the story this time? You stood me up. Again? Thanks. We both know I'm not stupid. And as much as I would love to get high right now, I'm not going to do that until after the showcase. So, I guess it just must be. No, don't say love. Don't say love. 
Kenny. Oh, man. No, you don't understand because you don't have anybody. Oh, man, you know, if this is love, then I don't want to be in love. I don't want nobody. Oh. All right, yeah, just power. Whatever, you can call it what you want, you can say what you want. I mean, you probably think I'm weird or something, that I don't share my soul and just in this big cesspool of, of foolish actions by people, just this dating thing, to mess around this cesspool of what they call casual sex and love and whatever they twist it. That's why I don't date much. That much? Well, I don't date... I, look, I can be miserable by myself. Or you could choose to be in love with someone else. Come on, look, if you're not gonna take my advice, then take my money. Let me take you out to eat. Kenny, you don't have to do that. I mean, all right, I'll tell you what. You take me out. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay, it's all good. <laughs> See, why can't he be more like you? Oh. I don't read my books. <laughs> I told them, but you know, they don't listen. Plus, you're not my type. I like my women like my, like my, like I like my chicken. White meat. <laughs> With a little less pump. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. All right. Get up. Get my some. shoes. Yeah. Wait a minute. Put your face on, too, because we can't be having you going out like that. Like what? You're just mess with the other kids. The tears, the crying. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hey, where's Davin anyway? He's as good as mine. Hello? Yeah, I just called to check up on my investment, man. I'm sorry for calling so late, but you know, a brother gotta keep it real. How's black and white? Oh, they, they're cool, they're cool. You know, the, all the labels are licking their chops, just waiting for the demo to be finished. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's just a matter of time. Well, I just want you to make sure you know what the deal is. Because by my last count, I just dropped about 100 grand in this little motherfucker. I expect some payback on my investment. For sure, I mean, you know, that's that's what investments is all about. Just as long as we're on the same page, G. And you know it's your ass if I don't get my loot back. <laughs> yeah, we cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, um, I'm gonna hit you back tomorrow, and uh, we'll break bread, and then we'll chop it up some more, okay? Yeah, cool. So hit me on my cell, you can get a minute. man had some issues that had nothing to do with me. Well, it's like an unhappily married man who wants to leave his wife, but he don't have the heart to do it. So he'll cheat, hoping that he'll get caught, which allows him to deal with the situation that he's trying to avoid. And by hearing you talk to your callers, I think you got some issues, too. My issues are not something for you to discuss. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Well... Why he couldn't just leave me alone, I don't know. But he insisted on coming over that night. I know you're worried about making it. But I believe in you. And if this whole Alonzo thing and his money's got you worried, then we just pay him back. You got $200,000? $200,000? You said it was just a few thousand. Why you lying to me? Well, it was at first. But then black and white started getting hot and had all the labels bidding on them. I figured I'd just get a, any deal I get would be a seven-figure payoff, no problem. But then your boy Zoe got wind of the heat that they were getting, and he wanted a piece. 
He decided to offer up the money. Okay, so then what happened to the money? I spent it. Not all of it. I mean, we spent it. I mean, you know, the, you, like these jeans you got on, the, 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 the bands, you know. And ever since this girl accused White of rape, White was just been shaky on touching them. But I got one more chance. You know, big records, you know, they got everybody. The VP over there, you know, I'm having some problems with them, but I figure I keep on doing what I'm doing and I can get to them. Maybe I had no idea this was going on. I'm really sorry. But, um, if Alonzo gave you all that money, mm -hmm. then why didn't you use a little of it to, um, to finish my demo? I mean, because at least then you'd have two chances. Well, I told you. I'll tell you again. Record labels are only signing rappers right now. After I signed them, see, I could walk you right through. I've told you this a million times. Now, look, if you want to argue, no. so many other things. Gavin, right wait a minute. No, Gavin. This is all about, no, please. No, Gavin, I mean, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just trying to communicate with you, OK? Just get some clarity. What else? I love you. And I'm down with you no matter what. I don't care about your cars. I don't care about your money. I just want to be with you. Okay. Come here. Oh, come here. I love you too. <laughs> you don't like the bins? Delivery mm -hmm. it's in room 230. Oh, you got jokes. I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> you look good, man. I like the suit. It's nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. You know what it work? Yeah. I might stop off and get like a little manicure pedicure. You know what? My treat. No, I appreciate it, man. But I work with my hands too much at work, man. Just be a waste of money. Thanks. Who exactly do you again? I'm a manager. I, uh, I got this little uh, record group. Did you kids black and white? Black and white? No. Oh, you never heard of them? Okay, you must not follow hip hop, but these two cats are about to take me right over the top. Yeah. They're nice. That's good, man. You know, it's funny because Nicola told me that you own your own record company or something like that. I don't know them. I don't own them first. How you know the cone? He's a lot back in the day. Here with me, Nicole. He's a lot back. She says that uh, you're a man now, so that's cool. I mean, I just, it's kind of weird because I'm still. No, well, I'm not her man. I mean, she's a friend. So, you gonna, you gonna tell Danny? Money. You want, you want money? It's not my style, man. Besides, I, I believe that things have a way of working themselves out, you know? Mm -hmm. Be careful, man. It is way too early in the morning to be hey. Gavin, I think I, you left your pager.
know you or something? I don't know, do you? <laughs> Look, I'm straight. Strictly Dickly. I don't have anything against the whole lesbian thing, you know, ghost sparks. Some flatter, but no thanks. Look, I invited you here to tell you face to face that Gavin is my man. And it's gonna stay that way. So I'd appreciate it if you backed off, okay? Honey, what is your problem? <laughs> Excuse me? What is your problem? Well, it was you. You don't get it, do you? Oh, I get it. No, apparently you don't. Gavin told me when we were in bed together yesterday just how naive you are. Really? Huh. Because Gavin slept with me last night. Oh! Well, he must have a lot of energy because I wore him out yesterday about noon. I don't believe you. Believe it. Gavin has been paying my rent, car payments, anything I can think about for the last six months. This is my life you're messing with. And this little game you're playing, it's wrong. <clears throat> Don't hate me. Hate the game. I was hurt so bad, T-Roy. I mean, in my bones. I still get mad when I think about it. Well, you know something, baby girl? It's like that old saying, you never know what you got until it's gone. You can say that again. You think you can give my boys a little bit of money and some equipment they gonna cut me out the deal? I don't think that's gonna happen, partner. Haven't you read the trades? What the fuck you talking about? Hey, our little boys, they dick the both of us, Gav. They're in New York. They signed with Arista yesterday. Five million dollar deal. Sorry to break the news to you, pal. And I know you're going through this thing, Gav, but, you know, if you don't got another group, I'm kind of busy. How about how this ends? Check that out, man. I, she's hot. Hey, I'm, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Cause he sure did get what he deserved. in here, huh? Wow, showtime. That's nice. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Sure you will. We will. You're not alone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Besides, you got these girls in here, and, and if you mess up, I can always jump on stage and give them a lead, <laughs> make a little crowd, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm gay. I didn't say that, no, stupid. but you were thinking it. Come no, on. I'm you always be trying to mm, put that little hint <laughs> in. I do not. <laughs> Walk. Try looking at my booty. Every time no. I turn around, you looking at my booty, trying to say, he's sweating too much. <laughs> not really. <laughs> what are you waiting on? Let's start. Sorry, I didn't see that before. Yeah. You see it now, though. Well, I'm not sorry for you. I'm sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> he was cheating on me. I 
now. You know? Well, then how come you didn't tell me? Would you have listened? No. <laughs> You really are my very best friend. You know that? This, uh, friend stuff. I got a problem with it. <laughs> so what you say, you and I, after the show, you gather your clothes, we go out and get a drink, some coffee, tea, and we have a long conversation. Okay. I'm gonna, um... <laughs> Not you. I'm gonna go get dressed. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sporting that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight and supporting the show. And without further ado, I'd like to bring out the very talented, the very lovely, and very sexy, Deneen Morrow. How do I get over you? You, you. How do I get over you, you? Can you tell me how over you, 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 you? How do I, I how do I get? Over you, you. Woo! Oh, thank you. Woo! <laughs> God, I didn't know you had it I like that. I was so nervous. Damn, I didn't know you had. Oh my gosh. Really? You think I did good? I mean... Listen to the crowd! Congratulations. All right, look. I apologize you had to find out about me and Nicola the way you did, okay? But it was for the best. I realized I was wrong, and I'm a better person for it. And I, uh, want our relationship to be back the way it was. Gavin. I'm not, not now, delivery guy. Look, Gavin, anything you got to say to me, then you can say to him. Okay, um, can I make it up to you? Uh, what if I was to tell you I got you a nice record deal? What are you talking about? Big Records wants to do a two-album deal with you. I've been working on this deal for a while. It's finally come through. Um, I don't know what to say, I mean... Say yes. No. No. Yeah, no. I think I'm gonna pass on this one. And if you have any other business dealings, then you need to take it up with my new manager. And who is that? Mr. Kenny Brown. Hey, I think I... Oh, I don't have any business cards on me. I left them in those little brown shorts at work. All right, all right. It's all good. So I guess everything works out in its own time, if you give it time. And Sarah, if you're out there listening, um, give me a call. We need to talk. Thanks for listening. Okay, bye.
Troy really wants to talk to you. I've been through so many changes in my life, girl. I've been up real high where I thought I didn't need to be anymore. Then again, I've been down real low. There was no one in my life who needed me. And I found that material things that I thought had so much value have any real value at all. I was a lonely man. Came into my life and you made my jagged edges smooth. You made my whoo, made my direction so clear. <laughs> Have you got another one of those? How we doing? It's WKN Love Radio. T. Roy saying good night. God bless. One question. Do you like your mother? It's the only problem I have right now is I need to join. Oh, okay. come on. It goes deeper than that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What are you talking about? I'm talking about one thing. Are you ready to hear it? We all have problems. It's just you have to be mature enough to admit to them. Okay. You suffer from one thing. All right, what's, what's my problem? Vaginal envy. What? Yes. <laughs> you suffer from uh, vaginal envy. Mike. Va Mike, vaginal envy. <laughs> vaginal envy. Vaginal envy, Mike. Turn up, let him, let him, let the world hear it. Vaginal envy. Hey, now that little psychoanalytical bullshit might work with your little clients. Give you a big tip, baby. Mm -hmm. 
Let me give you one, you soap. <laughs> Taco Bell, man, like three ninety nine dollars for four tacos and real supreme. And now, like, super side the Mountain Dew. Did my tooth fall out? It did, didn't it? <laughs> Damn, don't call me. You know, it goes away after, like, noon. You know, I just got a little gas and shit. Like, the web out. Put I wish I knew my lines. <laughs> <laughs> Love to me I is sleeping with a girl who looks 16, but she really 25. to come by without calling and everything. Can, can I borrow some chasing in a car, please? Man, Ernie, I ain't got time right now, dog. Oh, man, come on, man. Oh, you them pony shits, man? Man, why can't you ever borrow normal neighbor neighbor's shit like a lawnmower or some hoes or some money or something? Because I'm borrowing all that last week, dog. I just want to get... Get my body no No, you don't want none of this. Oh, man, this is mine. This is my shit. Damn, dog, that look like a disco. Uh, um, no, these, these are the cock dogs. I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you don't want this. This is... Get your gas. No, I don't want no gas. All right, then, dog. Well, let me, um, can I borrow a pair of drawers, then? Hey, come on! We'll just sit here and watch a little cable. You don't mind, do you? I'm using the phone, too. What's up, T-Roy? What's up, boy? Hey, man, forget all that love thing, dog. Me and my man over here, we broke down, but we players. You hear me? Yeah. Players! Pimp, tell them, dog. Players! <laughs> Put on something for the pimp. Put on, bitch better have my money. You know what I'm saying?
Whose is it? Whose is it? Huh. They know I'm a pimp, stand true to pimp for. Pop your collar, pop your collar, holla at your boy. They say I got a dirty mouth, my red fox. I ain't gonna bite my tongue, I like it a lot. Nah, man, you're too big to be dancing like that. That ain't you. All right? You're right. Huh.